हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज फॉर कॉमेड के सीट अलॉटमेंट 2023 एंड आई वुड कवर स्टेप बाय स्टेप राउंड वन राउंड टू राउंड थ्री व्हाट इज द एलिजिबिलिटी एंड द प्रोसेस सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड ईच राउंड सो स्टार्टिंग विद द राउंड वन सो बिफोर दैट यू शुड नोट दैट देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु पार्टिसिपेट इन कॉमेड के काउंसलिंग वन इज द जनरल मैरिड स्टूडेंट एंड द सेकेंड इज द एच स्टूडेंट सो एच स्टूडेंट्स आर बेसिकली हैदराबाद कर्नाटका रीजन स्टूडेंट्स so the students who are studying in the border districts of karnataka border of karnataka and hyderabad which is the telangana so those district students have have seat reservation in all the colleges to a certain extent right so that that's why there is hkr seat so for the round 1 both general merit student and hkr students are eligible to sit and students are eligible to sit in comed k counseling only if they have comed k rank and they have paid counseling registration fee and they have completed the document verification which is successful or approved right so lot of students are asking can they still register for a comed k counseling the answer is no if they have not paid a counseling registration fees and if they have not successfully verified their document earlier then they cannot participate so similarly the point number 2 is supplementary candidates are not eligible for round 1 they can participate in the later round but not in the round 1 right the next one is that you know the choice filling process you can fill the form and you will say save the preferences and automatically it gets locked and your option entries are registered right and after that round one result uh, will be out and you will be allotted a seat or you will not be allotted a seat so the next step is a decision making right based on the allotment you have to you have to take one of the four decisions if you didn't don't take any of these four decision you will be automatically rejected from the counseling and you will not be able to participate in the next round or so on right so let us take understand the four decisions so first is the accept and freeze so that means a student is happy with his seat and he wanted to go and join the college which he is allotted so this is the most simplistic one the second one is the accept and upgrade that means student is 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 somewhat happy with his seat but he wants to still try a better option in the round 2 so that's why he has selected an option called accept and upgrade by doing this option his seat will be on hold during second round that means his first round allotment seat is with him still but he is trying second right? so in this case students is willing to pay the fees so students who have have done accept and upgrade also need to pay the fees similar to the student of accept and freeze so first two line items student has to pay the fees and third option is reject and upgrade that means student is not happy with the seat and he is not willing to take that trade but he wants to participate in the next round of counseling so he can select reject and upgrade but there will be no seat on hold for him his round 1 allotment is gone and remember this is a very risky choice reject and upgrade is very risky because in the second round you may not get any seat which you wanted because because it's allotted to somebody of the higher rank than you so that is a risky the fourth one is the reject and withdraw that means you are completely unhappy with the seats you allotted and you don't want to pursue into this counseling and you want to completely go out so that's a reject and withdraw so last two students don't need to pay fees reject and upgrade and reject and withdraw doesn't need to pay any fees now the uh, last point which is candidate who have taken a decision to accept and freeze and accept and upgrade so first two line item candidates can surrender their seats any time during round 1 counseling or during round 2 counseling so they can surrender or cancel their seats up to round 1 or round 2 both so this is the additional flexibility which is given and this flexibility is only given because of the fact that the kct counseling is going behind uh, comed k counseling so see if a student get a better seat in kct he can cancel his seat which he got in the comed k round 2 right so that's why this flexibility is there that you can surrender your seat up to round 2 and round 2 there are basically two phases phase 1 phase 2 so round 2 phase 1 is only applicable to hkr seats right it is not applicable to general seats so which student can participate in round 2 phase 1 
so round if eligible only if you are hkr candidate and you have accept allotted a seat in round 1 and selected accept and upgrade or reject and upgrade or participated in round 1 but did not allot any seat so next they will have to make their choice entry and they will have to see the result of round 2 phase 1 right and they will have to make a decision of allotment similar to what i explained in the phase 1 of the counseling now the next one is a round 2 phase 2 so round 2 phase 2 is basically for the general marriage seats right who are coming from the round 1 counseling so who are eligible to participate in this is the if you are a general merit candidate who is not holding a HKR seat, supplementary candidate are not eligible to round 2 phase 2. So you should be general merit candidate from round 1 and second you should not be holding a supplementary, you should not be a supplementary candidate. So supplementary candidates are also not allowed in round 2 phase 2. So here also after the round 2 phase 2 you will have to make similar choices as you made in the round 1 that is accept and freeze, accept and upgrade, reject and upgrade and reject and withdraw right. Now regarding the cancellation of the seat or surrender of the seat the students who have can now surrender the seat for the second time after the first round they were able to surrender and cancel the seat after second round also they are able to surrender and cancel the seat and this is the last time you can do this now let's move to the round three so the top line directly says the round three is only for general marriage seats right so hkr seat student cannot participate in the round three it's only for general marriage seats and who is eligible to participate in the round 3 you have to listen it very carefully then only you will be able to understand the first a a is the students who has been allotted a seat in round 2 so if you are allotted and seat in round 2 and select accept and upgrade you are allotted a seat in round 2 and select accept and upgrade or reject and upgrade during round 2 then only you are eligible for the round 3 correct right? so there will be lot of students who has not who have not been allotted any seat in round 1 but they are now getting allotted a seat in round 2 so they st those students are eligible to do accept and upgrade as per the point number 1 and get into round 3 second is the participated in round 2 those students who have participated in round 2 but not allotted any seat since they have participated in round two and they may have would have also participated in round one but in both the rounds you have not got any seats so that's why you want to go for the round three and you are eligible to go the to the round three based on the point b and the third is the student who are the supplementary candidates who were not allowed to sit in the round one who were not allowed to sit in the round two are now allowed to sit in the round three so supplementary students who are now allowed to sit in the round three they will have to mandatorily upload their 12th class step supplementary mark sheet right so that you can sit in the round three so to repeat again you know only three type of candidates are eligible who has been allotted a seat in round two those who have participated in round two but not allotted any seat and those are the supplementary student candidates right so now if you see the point number three last point candidates who are in round three does not have any option to surrender their their seat and quit the counseling so now they cannot quit the counseling whatever seat they have got in the round three they have to accept it and they have to report to the college allotted right so if you don't go to the college allotted a legal action may be taken against you and there is no choice of getting any type of you know refund or money back so that's a small update i wanted to cover on all the aspects or the phases of counseling round one round two round three and the uh, fees surrender aspects and uh, please do like and subscribe the channel to get uh, similar details